Community doctors are seeing great success with a fairly new technique of treating pancreatic pseudocysts. It involves a stent, and for one patient, it was just the thing to fix the severe stomach pain she was dealing with. Valerie Pay was on vacation last year when suddenly she got sick, very sick. It was, it was awful downright awful. She'd been diagnosed with pancreatitis and spent several weeks in the hospital. They, they flushed my system with a lot of fluids to get rid of the pancreatitis because that's the procedure. But still, her health deteriorated. Couldn't keep any food down. I mean, you have something that's pressing on your stomach you don't want to eat. When somebody has an attack of acute pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas, there is some damage to the pancreas and it releases the pancreatic juices to the outside. Dr. Shreya Seligram is the chief of gastroenterology at UCSF Fresno on the community regional campus. He says Valerie's acute pancreatitis led to a pseudocyst, a collection of fluid that leaks inside the body. When it becomes big, they can cause a lot of pressure on the stomach and it will prevent the patients from eating. They were afraid they were gonna lose me because of my weight, losing so much weight. Valerie became one of the first patients to undergo a minimally invasive treatment technique at Community Regional. So all that I did was I went in and placed a stent connecting from the stomach to the pseudocyst so that all the contents of the pseudocyst is gonna be drained into the stomach. Now, in the past, several years ago, if somebody had the condition like Mrs. Pape had, they had to undergo surgery, which carries uh, its own risk, especially because patients are already sick. Dr. Saligram says the whole procedure takes just about 20 minutes. It's less complicated and the recovery is a lot more quicker. Patients can go home pretty much the same day. The stent stays in place for about four to eight weeks. Then they remove it. Two weeks later, the pseudocyst went down, he took it out, and then they took out my gallbladder. And the results are big. It's been just a matter of months. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Valerie says the days of stomach pain are behind her, and she's feeling much better, back to her old self, her healthy self. Everything is fine, um, and I'm eating like a horse now. <laughs> Dr. Seligram says medical professionals are realizing stints like this one can be used in many different ways. Trials are being done now to see where there is success and eventually could lead to more minimally invasive procedures to benefit patients. Still ahead, advice for parents as they get ready to tackle toilet training. Advice for where and how to start next in Parenting 411.